Hi, I'm Forrest Moons. I'm at Forrest Moons Cards on Instagram, and I am a breaker manager at Layton Sports Cards. I first heard about Layton Sports Cards when I was applying for jobs, um, kind of mid-pandemic, honestly. So the progression uh, of being here at Layton Sports Cards, I started as a sorter shipper and did that for a few months and started top loading at night for Brad and Rich, actually. So I did that for a little while and the goal was to learn as much as I could and uh, see if you know you can do enough to become a breaker and just immerse yourself in products and knowledge and you know, streaming online. Uh, started top loading at night, ripping personals, and you know just work your way up to being able to do group breaks and multiple streams a week and knowing every product that comes out and so on and so forth. Some of the more challenging things I had to overcome um, in becoming a breaker was no prior knowledge in sports cards really at all before starting at late sports cards. So there was on a, on a daily basis of being at the shop, it was learning as much as I possibly could about different products, different uh, athletes, um, different manufacturers, uh, different styles of breaking, other breakers, just everything about the hobby really, because like I said, not knowing anything is a is kind of a tough hill to climb. I have I've always been enjoying sports, so that sort of uh, was the first ring on the ladder, so to say. And it was really a help in, you know, because there are there is definitely a lot of crossover between, you know, <laughs> what we're looking for in cards and what we like to watch on TV as far as like you know, the best athletes uh, typically sell the best, typically. Um, so I'd say that was probably the most difficult uh, thing was learning all of that, where a lot of, I think most breakers would say they'd been in the hobby before. They had collected things before they started breaking. Or I was like, <laughs> I did the reverse. I started breaking and then I started collecting. <laughs> I, just, I love to collect a lot of different things. But I, li I like to collect Star Wars cards. I've uh, been a Star Wars fan for a long time. And it's just, it's a different vibe than sports, I think. It's, you know, it's supposed to be fun. You play the video games, you watch the movies, you watch Mandalorian. So yeah, definitely Star Wars. Memorable moments would be honestly meeting people and friends that I would see at a show or the national, or we talk on Instagram, uh, pulling cards for great customers, um, pulling really cool things like an Abraham Lincoln cut auto. There's just a few things that are really fun. My favorite sports teams are the Boston Red Sox, the New England Patriots, Orlando Magic, and the Boston Bruins. Uh, I collect Rafael Devers, David Ortiz. The rest of the teams, it's kind of a mix. There's a few guys, it's kind of just an in general collect those teams. Some crazy memories of Rich uh, since knowing him, since starting working here. Anytime we'd just be breaking and it'd be late at night. It's pretty it's pretty rare nowadays, but the Super Bowl mixer was one time, you know, you just get, to the, you've been working, you know, 12 hours and everything's funny and chat's just loving every bit of it and you're cutting up with your friends. Um, but honestly, just learning from him and, and breaking and seeing his reactions to certain things and kind of what makes him tick is always fun. Some of my favorite things about the industry as a whole is uh, a pretty strong sense of community, at least uh, you know at shows and in our chat rooms and on social media with, with our customers and friends. And there's always like a, a help each other out sort of thing, a, commun a communal thing. There's a lot of, uh, at least as far as I know it, you know, gift giving um, and just finding places for cards essentially. If there's something that I have that that I'd consider selling maybe, I usually try to find out if I can find someone to give it to first, honestly. One of my favorite products to break and something that I'm always excited to see is really anything under the Topps Chrome, I guess, umbrella or brand. So Topps Chrome Baseball, Topps Chrome uh, Merlin Soccer, Topps Star Wars Chrome Galaxy, you know, it, Topps Chrome F1, really anything Topps Chrome. If I were to put an average number on the cards that I flip through in one night of breaking, the answer is, the easy answer is thousands, but 
that's hard to quantify, right? You're looking at what, what you're ripping. You know, if we're ripping a flawless release day, it's <laughs> quite a bit less. Um, but on like a Bowman release day, God, <laughs> I don't want to know. 